Yeah, I think um, with sort of what's going on in the, in the world at the moment, it's a little bit of a scary time. So for the, the club to kind of, well, for both of us, want us to stay um, and, and to give us security and obviously you add in the emotional side of it, um, it was really good, good news to, to, sort of, to sort of have that and, and get it sorted as, as quickly as we did. Yeah, I mean, this is my 12th season now um, playing at the club. I've been here a long time. And for me, it was, it was an easy decision to make when the club approached me. It's been my club or our club as lads growing up. I remember coming and watching uh, Keith Wood and players like that playing at the Stoop when they had the old stands and the properly old stadium. And for me, it, it was that easy decision being a fan of the club growing up. To be able to do that with James is just the icing on the cake. In an ideal world, we, we love playing together and in the past that's had a big impact and this has a big impact this time around and you know we do discuss things individually like James's goals are different to, to my goals we're in different stages of our career we both want to achieve different things um, different family circumstances but you know the be all and end all is we, we love playing for this club we love playing together and we're delighted to be able to continue that for, for another couple of seasons. The fact that we've been here for longer when we were at school in the academy, we used to come and watch um, every 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 uh, few couple of games every year, um, and and so on. And we were both part me watching both part of sort of the club's successful successful days a few years ago. Um, so it adds to how special it is. It's a great place to to come and and, and play your rugby and enjoy other people's company. Um, it is it is often a joy to come in. Sometimes it's tough. Uh, especially when we're not doing so well, but that's that's part of the business that we're in. There's plenty of potential in our in our future here. Um, we just need to sort of un unlock it, and that's an exciting prospect of coming in as well. For me, and I'm sure James is the same. We want to go out there and we win trophies because not that you judge your career on that solely, but it's a massive part of it to be able to say you've won a Premiership. Not many people can say that. There's, you know so many leagues out there with so many teams trying to play rugby um, but only you know one one English team can win the Premiership or win the European Cup. My goal is very much still to play for England um, no shame in sort of, of saying that that's still my dream and, and like Ross said we're, we're out here to win stuff we're incredibly competitive I'd like to say we both work pretty hard to achieve our goals um, so it's just about making it happen uh, I, I wasn't part of sort of the glory days and, and we do get lost sometimes about talking about the history of the club and, and, and talking about when we did win stuff and now it's about trying to actually achieve that, do it again. I don't want to finish my career having, having not won anything so it's still very much on, on my bucket list to, to make that happen. As soon as we get fans back our parents can come and watch which may sound a bit silly um, but they miss it they miss it as much as we do and, and any you know season ticket holder it's a big part of their lives. Um, and we're relishing the chance to get people back in the stoop and play there on a Friday night, you can't beat it. Um, and I just think in, in normal life, forget rugby, we want a bit more normality um, for people's sort of mental well-being and, and sport is a massive part of that. So I'm looking forward to having people there and, and getting to a bit more normal and experiencing, like I said, those Friday nights where the, the stoop's absolutely buzzing.